you are watching content with candace in today's video i will feature a few more gifts you guys remember a few videos back i had said that i would come on here and i would share the other gifts that i had received but i kind of got caught up into video making and forgot to do that so i want to do that right quick and then i want to share with you my fifth unboxing slash reveal actually it's more of a reveal because i've already opened it because i figured you guys would want me to come on here and do a fifth unboxing i didn't want to take up your time uh, i've already done four unboxings of this bag so i want to do a reveal and just kind of quickly show you the condition of the bag and then before you know it we'll be done if you like this type of content please like comment and subscribe and please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well okay you guys let's get into it before we get into today's video the other gifts and also a few items i picked up and also the bag reveal i want to remind you that i currently have 152 videos on my channel i think it's 152 so this one will be probably 153 154 so there is a library of videos on the channel that you probably have never seen before so go check those out thank you so much guys those of you who have supported the channel we have over 700 I want to say 725 subscribers. Yay. I'm so excited. So happy. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, let's quickly get into the video. First thing I want to show you is one of my teacher gifts from Christmas before we got out for Christmas. This was the one that I actually had at work because I was going to display it at work. But I look, I opened it up, you guys, and I looked at it and I said, hey, I may have to use this one. Cause it's really unique uh, but it came in a box like this and on the front of the box it says of course thank you for being such a great teacher which i think is so cute then on the side of the box it has teacher nutrition facts you see the serving size amount per serving calories calories is one room full of students and then calcium carbonate chalk <laughs> although of course we don't use chalk anymore i remember when i first started teaching we did use chalk about 30 years ago but anyway uh passion 100 percent hard working 1000 percent because that's what it takes to be a good teacher uh patience uh looks like that is what is that symbol you guys that's not zero is it or oh in indefinite that's the indefinite symbol. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, caring, 300%, which I thought was sweet. Regret, 0%. No, no regrets at all. Enthusiasm, 500%. Because especially in this day and time, uh, children, I remember when I was in school, children, where you were sitting desks in rows and everybody sat still and was quiet and pretty much did what they were supposed to do. And of course, if you didn't do what you were supposed to do, there was a consequence and you didn't want the consequence. But anyway, enthusiasm in today's time as a teacher is required because to kids today, you're competing with a lot of technology. You're competing with a lot of other distractions. You really pretty much have to be an entertainer and get up and, and kind of, you know, do your thing, so to speak. But at the same time, teach them the material that they need to learn they will move forward in life enthusiasm i would agree with that is definitely 500 percent. and i know on some days we feel tired and we don't have that enthusiasm so but we still have to push forward and give it our best okay sleep overrated because there's a lot of times you'll wake up and you'll think of something that you should have done throughout the day and if you don't make a note then or you know, if you wait and make a note the next morning, you may forget it. Definitely overrate it because there's always things to do. You take things home with you and that kind of thing. Caffeine, 150%. I don't think I could even halfway do my job correctly if I didn't have my caffeine every morning. Maybe one day I won't need it. But anyway, attitude, 200 grams. Sweat, 95 grams. Blood, 50 grams. Tears, 80%. <laughs> so then down here, look at the little message at the bottom. It says, 
your daily value may be higher or lower depending on your students' needs. So, and then so on this side, again, thank you for being a great teacher. Nutrition fact. It has nutrition back facts, same thing on both sides. So definitely not a box I want to throw away. Definitely going to be keeping that one and displaying it. That's really cute. But not only is it in a cute box, let's look at what's on the inside here. And this is of like a reveal because I've already opened it, of course. <laughs> teacher life so really cute coffee cup and again got the new nutrition facts on the back of the cup real unique okay so not only did i get that but i also received this beautiful cup right here and i also received a nice little christmas cup with a lid but I mean, I think one of my kids and got a hold to it because I can't find it right now. But this cup right here is cute. It was full of candy. And this was the cup I was telling you guys about in my previous video. And then the top just screws on. But just a very nice little thoughtful gift. I'm just thankful so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. These are some things I picked up at Sam's the other day. And I know if you guys like this brand of candy, it's called Lent Ling Lindor. It's the limited edition and they still had quite a few of them. It's called the white peppermint. Uh, and it does have a unique taste to it. Irresistibly smooth peppermint, white chocolate truffles. I uh, almost got the regular ones, which I really do enjoy, but I did try these and these are made out of white chocolate and they are very delicious so if you're interested in something different not like i need it but anyway um it was half off 50 percent off so that's why i ended up picking that up and then also these here are simply amazing you guys it is called the gremlin snackers <laughs> so i did pick this up at sam's club as well and it says select topper pecans paired with our homemade carol malt and covered in delicious milk chocolate and then it also says named one of the best chocolate shops in america and then on the back here the way i like to know about good i can tell that i have a good quality product is i always look at the ingredients if i can read the ingredients then i know I have a good product here. And then it gives you the ingredients, which each one of these ingredients you can read. Sweeteners, corn syrup, sugar, milk, chocolate, sugar, milk, cocoa butter, chocolate, liqueur, lectin, and emulsifier, vanilla. And that's the only bad thing, but it's further down the list. The artificial flavor, select top or pecans, evaporated milk, dairy cream, whole milk, and salt. So, pretty good, pretty good, clean product, you guys. Just wanted to share that with you. If you like pecan chocolates, this came from Sam's Club, and I did try it, and it is wonderful. Okay, so now we want to go on and get into the reveal. This is the Coach Studio Shoulder Bag in the color Dove Gray. And... It did not come with package, and here it is. I just want you to see it first, and then, of course, I've already done my inspection on it, and I will talk to you about the issues as far as what I found with it, but I don't think any of these issues are anything that I can't live with. I think it's just going to be the normal issues that you're going to run into with this bag one of the things i did not see wrong at least if i got a decent front of the bag i mean the the leather was pretty decent except i don't know if you can pick this up now or not on the camera but right here you can see what part of the color it's like they missed the paint on the bag the bags today they are painted 
when coach used to do those vintage coach bags, those bags were stained. And you can tell because if you if you can see the under part of this leather, you will see that it's a different color from the actual color of the bag. It may be a white color. I'm not sure if they actually take the bags and bleach the leather before they paint it. I'm not sure what the process is. I need to research that and find out for sure. But anyway, you can see right here where the color it's like they missed the color or something. I mean, it's a small spot and then right here as well. At first from when I looked at it, I thought it was a tear on the bag, but it's not a it's not a tear. It's just a spot where the color was missed there and then there's it is right here where the color was missed, okay? So that's the only thing on the front of the bag. Now, I went through and checked the glazing for loose spots and I couldn't find any. Okay? Now, on the bottom of the bag, but what that is, is that something that I can rub off or what? I may, may be, I'll see. It feels, it feels like there's something that can rub off. I will try to get that off. It is obvious that this bag was more than likely a display bag. The good news is this bag was $357 is what I paid for, plus tax, of course. Big difference. Bag retails for $795. So that's a big difference in comparison to what the bag retails for and what I paid for the first, second, third, and fourth time, you guys. I think I had got down to like $500 a fourth time, something like that, $486 plus tax or something. So that's a big difference. So the good news is, you know, sometimes you have to go through a little bit to get to the blessing. And so the blessing in all of this is that this bag is a lot cheaper. I couldn't find anything wrong much with the hang tag except for there were a few little places on there look like a few places i'm gonna try to show you where maybe the color didn't get on or here enough so i don't know if the camera's gonna show you this or not but uh it's not it, that's insignificant uh i did try to key on the bag and it does work to lock the bag just fine there was no stuffing in the bag so this came actually came from a store in California. Now, the bag is currently, I think it's currently in notify me status to where you get an email. So if I had to guess, I think Coach is planning on bringing this one back because you can tell it was popular. But even if they do, it's not going to stay. I'm sure they're not going to keep it on sale even if they make more and re bring them back. And... I'm sure that it's probably going to go back up in price. So I'm just tired, you guys. I don't want to play the game anymore, fishing for the best bag. Let me see. There was something else minor going on, but I couldn't see anything. But it looks like here that the bag wrinkled a little bit, but I think that's going to come out of time. I had been resting up against something. And what else? There was something else, but it was so small that you couldn't hardly see it with your eye i did check the glazing let me go ahead and tell you that it did come with a dust bag no stuffing but it did come with a dust bag and i did check the glazing it looks fine some of the stitching was a little crooked but it's kind of on the inside so that's not an issue because of stitching on the crooked is on the outside it's fine the only thing i see let me show you the only thing i see is right in here i'm not sure if that's gonna be okay or not let me get a good close-up of it but i think i'll be fine i do love this bag you guys i like the fact that it's one big open compartment and then you have the smaller compartments on the edge and it really does work and meet my needs but if they come up with a bigger one of these I would be so happy. There was a spot or something on the bottom of the bag. So it looked like they may have repainted it or something, but the paint shouldn't be rubbing off the bag that easily. So what I'm hoping this is, this is just the wetness because it is a light color bag from me gently trying to wipe that spot off. So I'm going to, yes. So, but I wanted to show you also this tag. 
I did not receive a care card with the bag at all. You can tell this came, this came actually from a store in California, but this was the way the tag was placed inside the bag. And as you can see, it has been marked down several times. But that's what I mean, you guys. When you start purchasing these discounted bags, they're normally hit or miss. And so you end up, and so this definitely uh, screams display bag to me loud and clear. You end up getting bags. As, as you can see, it was marked down. First, it was seven ninety five. Now, it didn't even come with a, anything attached to the bottom of it. First, it was seven ninety five. Then they marked it down to five fifty, six fifty. Then it was marked down to three ninety seven fifty. So it's been marked down two times actually. So just wanted you to see that. Normally, when these bags get deeply discounted, they're coming from a store. They're a display bag somewhere. They're really trying to get rid of the inventory that's on the floor. Okay, so with this bag. Would I pay $800 for this bag? Probably not. I will let you know what happens with this spot. I'm gonna show you this up close. Now, if this is the paint rubbing off, this is definitely gonna be a no for me. I mean, I can't even clean and condition the bag without it looking like this, that's not good. Here's a, looks like a spot on this bag. I tried to clean it, but I could not get it to come off. So I used Coach Leather Cleaner and Conditioner on it. And I'm hoping that it's just not dry. And I'm hoping that once it dry, maybe it'll go away. I don't know. So there's a spot there. You can obviously tell that this was a display bag. But also, when I turn it over, there was a spot on the bottom as well. I also worked on it as well. So I'm going to leave it overnight to sit. Uh, and also looks like maybe some of the color maybe wasn't colored good because I realized the... Uh, Coach handbags of today are not dyed, they are painted. And right here, too, it's a spot as well. So, if this is not clear up, of course, it's on the back side, it shouldn't matter, right? But you know, when you spend your money, you want your things to be right. So, if this doesn't clear up, I'm going to end up returning it, unfortunately. Okay, but other than that, everywhere else, you know. Since I knew it was a display bag, you know, I had to go through the cleaning pro clean and condition with the coach leather cleaner and conditioner. So, well, that's what I think it was a display bag because uh, it came with a clearance tag on it, which I showed you in the earlier clip. Okay, so definitely going to, of course, there's a little dent there, but I don't I would I wasn't really all concerned about that because this probably came from the hardware resting up against it. So I'm not concerned about that. And then over here as well, there's some dents. My main concern, like I said, is on the bottom here. And on the back here. So I'm making, if it's just, if it dries gray, you know, it's just right there. Now the camera is showing it very well. So I may be able to, it may be okay, but, but you can clearly see that it's not colored good right there. So unfortunately, there is a possibility that this one will be returned. And it's got the same issue here on the bottom as well. See the camera finally decided to pick it up right here. Okay. So we'll come back and let you know how it turned out. Other than these two flaws here, 
Like you can see, I put the leather conditioner on the bag and it's drying. And here, rub the leather conditioner all on the bottom of the bag and it's drying. The bag is fine. So please tell me in the comments if you were me and you only paid $357 plus tax for the bag, what would you do? Would you keep the bag or would you return the bag? Just want to make sure that's not going to be an issue long term. But I was just wondering what's, what causes that for me to be able to rub leather conditioner and cleaner all over the bag. And the only spot that shows the moisture on the bag is here and here. Okay, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if there's anyone that knows about absorption and leather, please let me know that as well. Here's what the bag looks like dry, as I was telling you. If you can see it. Looks a little faded, right? Like it's almost like it's a color fade or something. I'm not sure what that is. But here's what it looks like dry, completely dry. Okay, see the spot? That's the same spot that was dark when I, you can see there are a few little, little specks on it like it was on the other bags that I had. But that's the same spot that uh, when you put conditioner, cleaner and conditioner on the bag, it turns dark, but then it's light when it's dry. But that's, that's the only, this one, and then also on the bottom of the bags here's that same spot as well actually the bottom looks a little bit better than the side Yeah, the bottom actually is immaculate. It dries. You can't really notice it as much. So the bottom will work. But this side here, it's like it's faded a little bit. So I'm not sure what that is or if Coach could repair it or what. I don't know. So let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for liking the video. It is greatly appreciated. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.